Briscoe, bitch. Hello friends, welcome to part three of my vlog here in Puerto Rico. Today we are in the beautiful town of Arecibo. We're going to be doing some walking around and exploring the town. Uh, there's a couple of beaches we're going to check out. There's a lighthouse. Uh, I got this beautiful mural right behind me. So come along with me and let's, let's go explore. All right, so I'm right here at my first stop. We are at the, um, the end of the Rio Grande of Acerribo, um, or Rio Grande de Acerribo, and it feeds right into the ocean right here. And because of the current torrential rains that we had yesterday, it was really, really bad. Um, a lot of the flooding that is coming down from the river, that's why you can see the, the water is pretty brown. There's a lot of debris in there, and it's feeding right into the ocean. So it's um, all that rain that happened, um, made it the way it looks now uh, but luckily today is a beautiful day the sun's out for now so we're going to take advantage and keep going Arecibo is one of the oldest colonial towns in Puerto Rico founded in 1616. I personally enjoyed this town because of all the urban art there are over 300 murals all around the town and these are just a few of them They even have their own Hollywood Walk of Fame called the Paseo de las Estrellas. All right, so right now I'm standing in front of the Plaza Luis Muno Rivera, where they are actually preparing to have their patriotic celebrations here for the town or city um, where they're gonna do a celebration. I believe it starts Thursday, so unfortunately it's tomorrow. I'm not gonna be here, but they are preparing a bunch of vendors, uh, amusement rides and whatnot.
Arecibo is not only rich in history, but it's also rich in culture. It's really sad to see walking around uh, all the devastation that Hurricane Maria left back in 2017. You can see that there's still a lot of recovery that needs to be done. All right, you guys, we are here at our next destination. We are gonna go into the Arecibo Lighthouse. So let's go ahead, take a quick walk up there. Let's go check it out. It actually caught me off guard uh, when I arrived to this place because I really thought it was just drive up to this lighthouse and get out and walk around and check out the lighthouse. But it turns out it's a historical theme park, kind of. It's about $12 to get in and you can walk around and look at all this stuff that shows you the history of this area. Um, it has a mini zoo, a splash area for kids, and uh, it's got like a cave. You can go in there and check out the history of the pirates. But when I saw these ships and seen that you can go on top of them, I couldn't resist but do this.
All right, you guys, so we are um, taking a quick break from driving. So we already left um, the town we were in. And um, I actually been driving for about an hour an hour, maybe a little over an hour because I actually was um, planning to eat somewhere. And then I waited until they opened because I was a, a little bit early. And um, I waited until they opened. And once I got there, <laughs> I realized that they weren't actually open today. Um, so for some reason Google told me that they were open today but they don't open until tomorrow so Thursday to Sunday is when they're open so we're gonna head in I found this nice little Mexican restaurant here um, and we're just gonna go grab a quick bite to eat nothing too big because I'm gonna have a pretty big dinner with uh, the wife tonight so we're gonna head into this quick restaurant and pretty much that's gonna end our part three of today's vlog we focus more on, on that town. We're in a town called, where, where are we? I don't even know where we are. Um, but we're in, in a, another little town on the way back to San Juan. So we're gonna go take a quick bite to eat and I'll catch you guys there. All right, so I just finished having uh, lunch and we're gonna head over. We got a little bit of time left. I did a little bit of Googling and hopefully the plan, everything goes according to plan. We're getting an emergency alert for flood flash warnings. Although in the area I'm in, we are not getting any rain. Um, but there are some areas of the country that are getting flash flood warnings. So hopefully where I'm headed to, the sun is still out. We're going to head over to the beach. And then we're going to um, uh, see if we can do a little bit of vlogging there. That'll be the last leg of our trip for today. Um, at the place that I went to, I actually wanted to show you guys. Check this out. They have these freshly squeezed lemonades available and they have like a little gummy worm inside <laughs> look at that so freshly squeezed lemonade and it's the it's lime it's made out of lime not yellow lemons um so i can't wait to drink this but yeah it's cool they got a little um gummy worm in there all right so let's head on over to our next destination see you guys there all right guys so we made it to the final leg of our trip today i'm gonna try to hit the beach for a little bit um the sun is out right here but we do have some clouds rolling in i don't know if they're coming this way i really can't tell which way they're rolling in so we're getting a little bit of sun a little bit of shade in the meanwhile hopefully we can get a little bit of uh time in the water and uh and that'll that'll conclude our trip for the day but I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed um, my vlog for today and in, uh, in that little town, going to the lighthouse, going to, walking through that little town in there. Um, I don't remember how I actually decided that I wanted to visit that town. I just, I guess I was watching some videos on YouTube, <laughs> much like you guys might be watching mine. And, I don't know, maybe you guys are planning on a vacation to Puerto Rico and maybe you guys uh, would want to visit the places I'd showed you. Um, and you know, I, I'm one for not visiting major like tourist trap areas. Um, I really like visiting small towns like these, uh, learn a little bit about their history and whatnot. But um, yeah, um, not too much footage on the beach uh, because there's a lot of sand and water so i gotta be careful with my equipment so if this is uh yeah this may be this may be my sign off so thank you guys for watching make sure that you guys are subscribed hit that notification help me out with uh, getting my videos out there and um yeah i will catch you guys on the next one take care